Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers and subscribers at the channel, we are a group of law abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. Yes, we are all about saving lives here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. And the reason why we support preemptive strike because yeah, it is a policy that saves lives because we are all about saving lives over here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Yes, you know, our life is precious. You only get one life. So that's the reason why we are all about saving lives here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You know, so that is one of our philosophy and motto over here, you know, you understand. But before we begin this video today, we want the criminal supporters, enablers, sympathizers, financiers and beneficiaries to know that we do not want them over here. Yeah, please go elsewhere, man. We do not want your views, comments or support because we aid criminals with a passion and we do not negotiate with terrorists or want them in our midst. Please go elsewhere. You are not welcome. So you must understand, if somebody is telling you that they do not want you in their midst, why are you coming? The honest person we know do such thing, you know, is people like being a man, you're shame being a man, and him still I come around here and him think that we don't want you old guys over here. Yeah, period. We don't care about you from your criminal supporter, anything to do with criminals, don't come over here. We don't want you here. Cause we don't negotiate with criminals. We're a group of law abiding citizens and we do believe that criminals must live in fear of losing their lives and not the law abiding citizens. That's our motto over here. So don't come over here and we don't want to hear what about and this and that. We don't into that madness. Alright, so today yeah, so you know today uh, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we want to educate you, the audience members, yes, about um, why the late Edward Siaga sympathized with Cuba. And as you have seen, you know, um, you know at We in Ugly Some channel, it's a criminal cuddling channel, so I have told you guys before, you know, if you, if you are a criminal supporter, you understand? The Jamaica Young Police Channel is not the channel for you. You understand? The Jamaica Young Police Channel is not for criminals, supporters, enablers, financiers, beneficiaries, sympathizers, excuse specialists, and head hunchers in the Jamaican criminal world. We at the channel are promoting and sending you to the channel that shares your philosophy of criminality is the channel moderated by none other than Wayne Uglesome, the number one YouTube criminal channel. You won't be disappointed. And here is another story we are going to share with you about the channel. The channel is a propaganda channel for the PMP LGBTQ plus party, which is a criminal organization. Here you are say you are seeing he is disrespecting Siaga with lies and we at the channel will not let him get away with it because one thing that we can tell you is what narcissistic people eat are people who have good memory and people who can read and write and decipher things and everything that he's saying in the video is 100% lies we are not beholden to any political party but in good conscience we could not promote or support a political party that has done so many evils to its people at all. Green Bay killings and I can go on and on and the guns that they brought to my community of Jonestown that I have witnessed saw police officers issuing guns at the corner of Price and Love Street in Jonestown and not only that we're going to show you how these people are I'm going to let you listen to one of their supporters too who try to malign us at the Jamaica Young Police Channel but we're going to give you the facts about Edward Siaga but who wants you our loyal viewers and subscribers to listen to one of their supporters first yes you know in everything there's always moles within you always have um, spies and people who do 
who not mean others anything that is good they just keep telling them lies and indoctrinating them with lies but we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel we don't into that we are all about the truth and we don't care who it is so we gonna let you know what the truth is all about you understand so you know that these people they are propagandists you know liars narcissistic people so first I'm going to let you listen to this voice note that this man had sent me he was a part of the Jamaica Young Police Channel I am not going to you know put his name up there even though he knows himself and his last name is Mr. Clark I am not going to tell you his first name and then after that now we tell you why Mr. Edward Sierra civil ties with diplomatic ties with the Cuba with the Cuba because the Cuban government has two PMP LGBTQ plus gunmen at the time it was the PMP party you know the LGBTQ plus did not come in because they have to keep it in the closet then and the two gunmen were namely Jared Flash and Anthony Brown Anthony Brown is the father of your favorite member of parliament Angela Brown Burke from East Kingston and you're going to hear later on you're going to hear from family members to confirm everything that I am telling. Because we are the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we're just all about educating the Jamaican people with, with truth. We are not about to edit, um, indoctrinate anyone. We're just telling you the truth. We are not beholden to any political party. We are not being paid by any political party. And another thing, we cannot be paid by any political party because of our affiliate, affiliation with the United States government. That would be a conflict of interest and will be seen as a spy working for another government. We can't do that over here. So we tell you that straight and forward. All right. So you listen, you watch, you listen, you decide for yourself. May I tell you something, Miss, um, you, boy Porter, that's how I address you. I have no respect for you because you have disrespected me. You have this woman on the platform, I create mischief, and for you try to find out the real talk of the story, right? She had called me on several occasions, right? But that's not my problem now. My problem, I have files on you, Mr. Porter. Don't think I don't have files on you. I've got files on you, Mr. Porter. And I'm, I'm not afraid of you. I can tell you anywhere me see around the world. Me can face you and tell you. Right? Act like a real man. Right? You seek political asylum in the United States. You cannot go back to Jamaica. So, if, if, you, if you see like how you mess with me now, I have some things I want to post in this group that I, I'm going to tell you. A knowledge that I know of. You see that wind ugly somewhere, pressure. You know that guy. So you see, this is all these the PMP LGBTQ plus people operating. I am from a PMP LGBTQ plus community, and you hear what this man says. The man say I came to America and seek political asylum. I want to know seek political asylum from for what? What what I was involved in Jamaica? I've never seek I've never seek asylum in my entire life. Period. So this, you know, that's how these people operate. I hear him talking about files. Same thing that that man, that um, we in ugly some that is right there. That's the same man who said that he had files on me. But people, the longest live I shall see. You understand? Because that man is nothing but a narcissistic person. I don't the man have a deep seated hatred for the police force because he has done the test more than seven times and failed. And that's where um, his belly is, you know, you have this belly for the police force and its members. Any police officer who discuss anything with we and ugly some is a criminal supporter and a criminal himself or herself. They are criminals. This one is, his IQ is like a stone. So for all the criminal supporters who who want to hear things that you know massage them ego I want to hear all the lies about the about um, Jamaica and the Jamaica police force and 
the PMP, LGBTQ plus party, them never bring no gun come to Jamaica. Them never send no bodyguard, Cuba got train, and Siaga was the devil. That's the channel that you go to, because all you're going to get over there is pure lies. So, that's why I want to let you hear a little snips of that, because there are other things that he had said, you know. But I'll see if that's recording for later. And you know yourself, Mr. Brown, Mr. Clark, and I can expose you big time because you're nothing but an empty vessel and a lonely and stupid man whose IQ is like a stone. But you people just love to be fed nonsense. So the guy now we and ugly some now. As you see, as I told you, you know, if you're a criminal supporter, see how generous I am to you people because I don't want your guys over here, you know. You see, look how the Jamaica Young Police Channel is very generous. We are sending you where your constituents are, people who share your worldview, your thinking, and every criminal or ghetto, innocent ghetto youth who the system is fighting. I don't want you over here. I don't want your views. We don't want your views. We don't want your support. We don't want your comment. We don't want nothing from you. The only thing that we would want from you, all the criminal supporters and financiers, yes, is you know you just take your ticket book your tickets and you just go to the next side that's all we care about we don't care nothing about you because your life have no value or have no meaning to us period so when we in ugly some was telling the people them or see how kick out the um the cubans them out of jamaica and all kind of lies this is one of the reason why you're looking at a man his name is jared flash I'll have to go to the Gleaner archive and do one and two little things to get um, Tony Brown this, um, his mugshot. Because back then in Jamaica, you know, we used to have mugshot of these criminals when they go to prison and you know the public could have access to have access to it through the star. Because in the star, every day you you know, every um, Wednesday you would see it come out in the star on the front page the most wanted men in Jamaica and when they are killed you see the X go across it so that's why we, we that's why we love the radication police you understand so John Flash was one of Jamaica most wanted men for killing Ted Ogilvy and was in Cuba he never faced justice in Jamaica this man returned to Jamaica he and Anthony Brown to our heroes welcome in East Kingston Criminals, you know, these are men who kill government officials. So that's that's your PMP LGBTQ plus party. You understand? And the reason, yes, and you can talk all you want and whine and this and that. I don't care because I am not beholden to any political party in Jamaica. I am for the police and for law abiding citizens. I am not beholden to the GLP LGBTQ plus party. I have never lived in a GLP LGBTQ plus community so i cannot tell you how their community operate is based on the intelligence and based on my experience as a police officer the first time i've been to rima is as a police officer i only used to stay at johnstone where no man's land used to be and look down there never been down there even went to school with people who live in rima i've never been there until i was a police officer that was even after radcliffe Road was killed that i grew up with i have never i have friends i had one friend when I was going to school, that lived in Tivoli, and I remember in 1986 when I was going to high school, and he told me something that there was going to be a robbery at the Anatown Baker the Friday before it happened. We were good friends, and when I w w reached home that Friday night, I saw it on the news that they robbed the baker, and he came to school the Monday, and he gave me $20. I don't know if he was, he did not come to school that Friday, so I don't know if he was a part of the robbery, and I should say that. You know, I don't know, you understand, but and that man later become a police officer and in 2010 he left the police force because he said that Indicom had make it feasible and better for criminals. So he left the police force, make a lot of money and he was shot by a policeman in Constant Spring police area in his hand and it was a DNA why he was caught. Two of his friends was killed, he told me, and he died in prison in GP. That's the only friend I have in Tivoli Gardens. We went to school. And I could tell you other things with that same friend about even a man from Kingston 13 who wanted to kill me and didn't even know that he was telling someone that went to that you know that we were close. 
and the rest is history so police just live good and treat people good and you understand and good things will happen to you so we continue the journey so as we say now we repeat we don't want you over here we don't want the criminals over here so you can go to the number one criminal channel where we and ugly son is you won't we and ugly son is and you won't be disappointed yes and here is another story we are going to share with you about the channel the channel is a propaganda channel for the PMP LGBTQ party which is a criminal organization and as you have seen the um, Dr. Alwyn Daz, Dr. Daz who was representing Waterford where we used to live at the you know at the Jamaica Young Police Channel we used to live in Waterford still after it's the Waterford you understand and Dr. Daz they the torches the, the, the constituents office the fierce v, um, vehicle and they said that they want him out they don't want him because the pmp lgbtq plus hierarchy under the leadership of mark golden just install a man and them and then it went through the process and they said they're not going to vote for him and then um, dr da said they want about them seat the, the seat that the glp held now you know because the pmp had created this portmore as a as a as a tip as a on it on it guy in a concrete jungle enclave you know and the glp lgbtq plus um prime minister outsmart them use michael manley 2.0 charisma tactics and everything and took her to port more from the pmp so this must be honest so i want to look apart them have leave and the glp you gotta take it away from them because andrew wallace is michael manley 2.0 and them love him uh, my, uh, Andrew Wallace, him love criminal, him a criminal sympathizer and all of that. Him not hang anybody and him think that I'm no safe here. If you're a conservative, them are, the people don't like that. So in a Jamaica, you know, the voters leading and not the party leading. So that's why Mark Golden can't denounce criminality and criminals will destroy the constituents office that um, Dr. Daz is about to operate in. And him not go have the peace there. Just remember the other PMP man, um, um, Gonzalez or something like that, that he had to resign to. You see him take him get shirt and him to him and just him say, boy, I'm a call it a dentist guy. So Dr. Nas must know what he's up against. So, so we continue the journey and, you know, and, you know we're not going to allow anyone to spill lies and mislead our people and brainwash them with lies because we want to change the trajectory of Jamaica. We want the people them to be educated because them don't read and their family who have knowledge of things that happened in the past are not educating them because their IQs are like stone and if you know some if you don't kick the stone this you know their brain won't move so we are trying over here now to educate them we won't let we and ugly some get away with his lies you understand you know so we can tell you this what a narcissistic people eat are people who have good memory and everything that he's saying in his videos is 100 percent lies lies so here's the facts edward siaga severed ties diplomatic ties with cuba because the cuban government has two pmp gunmen namely jared flash and anthony brown anthony brown the father of jamaican member of parliament angela brown burke her reward for her for her father killing ted ogively so I saw she, you have a commit crime in a PMP LGBT plus um, party, you know, and I saw you get reward on your offspring. And that's how, how Colonel Trevor McMillan you know, become commissioner of police, you know, because of the Green Bay killing. He's the mastermind, you know, from based on information received. Colonel Trevor McMillan is the mastermind behind Green Bay killing. So in a PMP, you have a commit crime for get elevation and promotion. Them not, the, the, uh, the PMP, them, if you are decent somebody, them have no use here because look, look at all our police officers like Isaiah Leng. Isaiah Leng should not, should not be at the time when they kick him out as sergeant. Isaiah Leng do more work than bigger food, you know. I am telling you that, you know. Bigger food work, you know, but the thing with bigger food, with bigger food work that he did, it was that bigger food alone. But most, but Isaiah Leng was the man that. When you come on to my community and jungle and at uh, jungle Jonestown, Isaiah Leng was the man. Isaiah Leng should not even all a police officer like Isaiah Leng, the PMP malign. And look how that man keep my community clean. The amount of work that man done. And yet still, them treat him with disdain. Them say Isaiah Leng and Labour, right? 
You understand? Because I'm just doing work. It's just like um, Delroy you it was who died yesterday. Same thing them said Delroy you with um same a PMP. But lo and behold Delroy you with his idea his ideology is not no PMP ideology. He it was more more uh, my labor right. But yet still Iman Dulus wasn't a friend. So you that show you, you know. It's just like with Isa Elling, I can't tell you. It's just like uh, um you would pass don't buy Love Street and Price Love Street and Price Street. I don't buy Bibo Bibo Kana, you will see um you will pass some uh, when Adams will not see you you will see Adams down there with George Pang, they might drink and they might laugh and with the whole of police them and the same thing with Bingo White. You never see Isaiah Ling when him that uh, Admiral Town. So that, that goes to show you, you know, that man was a crime fighter. That man was a political activist. But that's how Jamaica operates, you know. So we're just going to continue the journey. You understand? So Prime Minister, Prime Minister Edward Siago first act as Prime Minister was to expel Cuban Ambassador Ulysses Estrada. I remember you know, that Angela Brownberg, you know, her reward for her father killing Ted Ogilvy a government official who was protecting the Jamaican people's money from going to the pocket of PMP gunmen and dance in East Kingston. So that's why they kill him, you know. So this is what your favorite criminal supporter, enabler, sympathizer, and all get to you are innocent. We in Uglisom is telling you that Siaga kick out the the, the, the cube on them and appeal like him telling you. I like tell upon the dead man, you know. So we, because um, we we are different the man Anna because the reason why we are different Siaga Anna because yes and we can go back and we are talking about with Leng when Leng reigned as a detective a labor right did in the power you understand and then we have a, and Siaga never passed one law for criminalizing a police officer so and that's why we are different Siaga because when Siaga was prime minister all of the artificial line was erased I could walk from concrete jungle all the way to pier them trying to link a police and him that admiral town. Leng and a police where you used to sit on the road and all them things every day. Yeah, Leng was like, boy, the man they used to operate like some CIA agent. Anytime the man they leave in the station, I just work the man they work and he just here and he just that's it. Leng never used to on a patrol and a search search and I have never been searched by police in a jungle or Johnstown. Never. You understand? Even in the days of um our man broke up one time them one time them um them tell me about about seven them stopped me at abc bar you understand i mean upon a bike but guess what but <laughs> i just want to think that when you know, them never even search me but me never have anything you understand me on the bike with my father everything was good so that goes to show you know that back then the police although people hate the police but i was raised to respect and love the police and you know who why i joined the police was tom levine yeah man man boss it i link yeah i link boss it to you know, man believe you me you know, but you can't say boy them think they're just natural because they never put on a show over us believe you me i don't want to know there's no other police in a police force that i can point to that boss like them two man isaiah leng and and tom levine and you're telling i two baddest police you know believe you me you know you understand uh, leng up the ante after Tom Levine leave me, because Tom Levine are the godfather of, you know, bad man police. Bad man police and sweet boy at the same time, you know. And then then come and up it. Boy Leng was like, boy the man used to be like a Navy SEAL, you understand? You know. So as we tell you already now, Prime um, Siaga expel Extrada who left Jamaica on November 3rd, 1980, along with several other Cubans. In addition to the accusation that Cuba was instrumental in smuggling arms and ammunition into Jamaica during the 1980 election campaign, the Seattle government specifically accused Estrada of being involved in a scheme that illegally shipped 200,000 shotgun shells and 0.38 caliber pistol ammunition to Jamaica from Miami and a stand of stockpiling M16 rifles in the Cuban embassy. Rifles which were allegedly used to attack supporters of the Jamaica Labour Party and security forces. In January 1981, the Jamaican government terminated 
the Brigadista program and immediately recall all new directions. Jamaican students in Cuba under the program. Yeah, so you know, this is part one, the end of part one. So we know the blue ones and the liars and they might come out in them droves. But look, you see we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. One thing with we, yeah man, only thing you're going to get is the truth and nothing but the truth. So help my God. We now have we now have no agenda here. And we have we are not aligned to any political party. We just tell people as it is. If it's black, it's black. If it's white, it's white. If it's blue, it's blue. If it's sunny, it's sunny for us. And if it's raining, it's raining. We're not gonna tell us that the sky is black when it's blue, no. You understand? So we're not gonna tell you any lies to massage your ego. We are gonna tell you the truth. So that's what we're all about over here for telling the truth. Educate, inform, inspire. And to change my mind, we want you to think. We don't want you to be no organic robot and drink no pies now and kill yourself. They might give you pies now and tell us you are quenched. No. We over here making you know, say, look, you have to learn to think. You understand? So, all the lies that, that they have been telling about Sierra and the Cubans, yeah, this is part one. Yeah, man, I mean, know some of my you know, f you know, friends and family vex because they might, you know, walk around and I tell lies oh, Sierra this and Sierra that about Cuba. And look, we are different Sierra over here. When we say Sierra, we're not talking about because this GLP LGBTQ plus party, you know, and nothing like Sierra party. So we are talk, we're not defending a GLP party. We are, if we are defending a Sierra policies, we are defending. Because if we have Sierra policy right now, Sierra would have broke neck. That's why we say Andrew Wallace is a coward. He's him, him afraid because he's a panda to the criminal base in a Jamaica, which is predominantly, that's where them take, you know, the drone stone philosophy is all over in a Jamaica. That's why we love Sierra because Sierra broke neck. Yeah, man, Sierra signed oh, sign, sign the, um, the death warrant, man, and them just hang you. Up to now, and I appear excuse him and make. You know, if you ask, the PMP not go hang nobody. Because 19, uh, you see, Kingston Metropolitan area, and 93% of PMP communities. So, you know, say, the PMP them believe in it, um, just killing each other, and a man kill the man, and a man, and a squits. Or you feel all life squits. A madness, them thing there. You understand? So, we don't support them thing there. So, uh, we, we, you know, we continue, we continue. You understand? Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica Young Police Channel out and part two next.